think a lover boy is just, I don't know, just somebody that's for the. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's I why know, I say playing. I am. I'm yeah, that guy. Like, yeah, I ain't <laughs> Prince yeah. of Rock. You know, Prince was that lover boy, I feel like. Prince was the lover boy. Prince was wild, though, with the, the he pants was, with the cheeks out. He was, was too wild. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, he was wild. But I heard. He was like me. I didn't see. I was more into Michael Jackson. Even then, that was a little bit past my time. But I heard Prince was really like that. I did not know that. I heard he was really like he really got. Home and shit. <laughs> I never. I, I, I couldn't. That's what I try to tell you. Like my lifestyle is like Prince, bro. I promise you. Like, see, you just started following me, so you 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 don't really see it yet. But yeah. like as time go, you'd be like, damn, bro, I did say he was like so Prince. Would you, would you bring the pants back out with the with the ass cheeks out? What I what? Would you bring that back in? I can't really say because right now, like I, I'm going through a relationship right now, so. No, I'm saying, would you bring the pants back out with the pants, the purse pants? Oh no, I, would, would I wear that type of shit he wear? Yeah. F- no. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. That guy. So I just put the Prince of Rap in it. You know what I mean? I explained to you what that mean as well. You know what I mean? Wait, what do uh, you mean? So wait, who's the other YBZ? Yellow BZ. No, I thought it was another Y, like another, with the two E's, right? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, from BR. That's why I was, that was, yeah, yeah. I was, that's why I was getting confused. So, I, so that's why I'm like, you know, I, I need to, let me, Mix it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like the YBZ Prince of Rap. So that's why I started calling myself YBZ Prince Where of Rap. Where you get the Prince of Rap from? Prince. You know, Prince. The, the, he know he the king of that R&B shit, you okay. know what I'm saying? And you know he got his own little image. He got, you know, he the ladies man, you know what I mean? Like, But Prince. do you, are you like as and artistic? Then, no, listen, then, the... then they said I kind of look like Prince. Okay. So I was like, you know what? I could <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can kind of see that a little they bit. They said that, but so I'm like, like, I'm asking though, are you as creative with the instruments though? Like, because you know, the one thing that was most popular about Prince was he played all his own instruments. Yes, yes. Are but you are you like that with the instruments? I'm not gonna say I'm like that, but I I think I got my own sound. Like, but the thing is about Prince. Prince had the ladies, you know what I mean? I'm that type of guy. I like, you know, I like being around okay. the ladies. I'm, I'm creative when it comes to music as well, but I got my own lane, you know what I mean? I was talking Prince to, had his own lane, too. Nah, facts. I was talking to a guy, Young Sin. <laughs> Young and Sin. And he was saying, uh, he signed a um, Slaughter Gang. Uh, young dude was doing his thing in the A. I was talking to him, and I was talking about uh, asking, was he a ladies' man? I think that's what I said. Yeah. And he was like, nah, hell no, man. A ladies' man is like basically like a simp to sum his words up. He like hell no, I ain't no uh lo- lover boy. That's what it was, lover boy. Yeah. He's like hell no, I ain't no lover boy. So, would would you th- call yourself a lover boy? Uh, some kind of what? It just depends, you know. Like like when I get around certain people, like certain females, if they bring it out of me, yeah, mm. hell yeah. So what you think a lover boy would be called? Ain't nothing wrong with being a lover boy. I think Drake a lover boy shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't compare it to Drake. Drake is probably like the ultimate, like. <laughs> Shit, we was having another, another, another conversation. Is. <laughs> it's like you know how I play Mortal Kombat, and at the end you gotta pl- fight the big ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's like if it's Lover Boy, Drake is like the ultimate Lover Boy. Like yeah. he's like the yeah. <laughs> I don't like what what do you what do you consider as a Lover Boy though? Like because it's different levels of being a Lover Boy. You could be a Lover Boy who just catered to just all the women, yeah. or just catered to that one woman. No, nah, I, I, listen, I don't think it's nothing wrong being a lover boy. I'm yeah. a lover boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. far as like to just one woman or uh, to everybody? I mean, yeah, all the women. I think it's probably something in you. I think a lover boy is just, I don't know, just somebody that's for the hoes. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's I why know, I say playing. I am. I'm yeah, that guy. Like, yeah, I ain't shit. <laughs> Prince yeah. of Rock shit. You know, Prince was that lover boy, I feel like. Prince was the lover boy. Prince was wild, though, with the, the he pants was, with the cheeks man, out. He that was, was too wild. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, he was wild. But I heard he was, like, me, I didn't, see, I was more into Michael Jackson. Even then, that was a little bit past my time. But I heard Prince was really like that. I did not know that. I heard he was really, 
Like he really got holes and shit. <laughs> I never. I, I, I couldn't. That's what I try to tell you. Like my lifestyle is like Prince, bro. I promise you. Like, see, you just started following me, so you 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 don't really see it yet. But yeah. like. As time go, you'd be like, damn, bro, did say he was like so Prince. So would, would you bring the pants back out with the, with the ass cheeks out? Would I what? Would you bring that back in? I can't really say because right <laughs> now, like, I, I'm going through a relationship right now, so. No, I'm saying, would you bring the pants back out with the, pan, the Prince pants? Oh, no. I, would, I, would I wear that type of shit he wear? Yeah. Fuck no. Let's get this shit started. Yo, what's poppin', man? <laughs> J-Hill, J-Hill Podcast. Oh, man. Uh, YBZ, the Prince of Rap, is in the building. Yes, sir. Uh, Miami Gardens is in the building, man. Yes, I talked to a couple people from Miami. I know um, my dog, Blackie Chan. Mm-hmm. I fuck with him. I fuck with my dog. Damn. I'd say don't say names because I'm going to forget. But uh, there's another nigga. He was signed to, um, uh, his name began with a T. He signed to um, Meek Mill. Oh, uh, Taffy. Taffia. 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 Yeah. That's my dog. I yeah, fuck with Taffia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I really know some niggas. Uh, Bobby Fishgale. Yeah, Come Bobby, on, Bobby, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm a, listen, I know, like, niggas always joking about me with the young niggas, but, like, <laughs> I know some niggas, you feel me? So, um, Miami is in the building, man. Yes, How you sir. feeling, dog? I feel good. I feel blessed. Like, the energy is high right now for me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's a new year, 2023. We yeah. made it. We made it. You know nah, what I'm saying? Nigga, so, we made it. A lot of people couldn't make it to see this year, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace for everybody that's gone, mm. everybody that's behind bars, that's trying to make it to come home, you know what I mean? Like, blessings to them people that are trying to come home, you know what I mean? I hope they get a pill, I hope they come home, you know what I'm saying? Nah, facts, no cap, man. Talk. Free the whole game. Free, uh, free everybody that's innocent anyway, I mean. Free thug too, man. Yeah, for sure. Free them, man. Yo, so, you know, it's funny, Um, one thing that I think that everybody is attracted to or, or that attracts people from Miami is the hairstyle. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, first of all, <laughs> what is, is it? Dreadlocks? Is it? Um, it's or? wigs. We call them wigs. Okay. We call them Explain wigs. Explain it. We call them wigs. Some call, call it dukes. Um, they like just you know they natural locks. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. some people lock them different. We lock them just you know you some t- some people wear it out as an afro mm-hmm. and they just you know they. And they throw it up like that, like have it. Wait, you just got your hair done though, right? Yeah, I just got you it take, done. I mean, I I ain't know if that's your style. Could you take your head off so we can oh, see? Yeah. That shit clean. Okay, yeah, yeah. So how like they it do it start small with small dreads first and then you put them together? Like, see, you could grow it as an afro and then you wick it up. So you just gotta get somebody to wick it up for you. Okay. Some people like you don't. It's not plaited. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing like plaited. It's just natural fro, like a fro. Okay. And they just nap it up. It's a nappy fro. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. So I thought I always thought it was like just dreads, but a lot of dreads put together. Some people do it like that as well, though. You could grow it like that too. You could grow it like regular hair. See, I had I had the long hair, like the long, small ones too. Okay. But I start I took it out, I aired it out, mm-hmm. and just napped it up to a fro. Damn. So that's how mine was. It was long. My my dreads were like this long at one point. But then I, I got tired of it. I'm like, man, I need to I need to get that Miami look. You know what I mean? Instead of that pretty boy look. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I that like, makes sense. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit low key hard when it's done. Yeah. But we used to we we usually see niggas it don't really be done as much I guess. Yeah. But that shit look neat. See, that see, shit look see, good. My, see, Miami Miami niggas they they love that shit to be nappy. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they love the nappy fro. You know what I mean? But it was time for me to get that bit done. How you get that shit done though? If it's not like dreads, like how do you how do you get it done? It's a pen they use. It's a pen that they they keep poking that motherfucker. Keep poking it. Shout out my girl K, you know what I'm saying? K, she she got my shit right. So wait, slow down, cause it's a pen they keep poking. Yeah. But how does poking. it get neat? Like how? Like they, it's it's like they stabbing it. It's like it's like a, a pen with like three, I think like three little, two. Like it's like it just keep poking. like a pick, like a pick, yeah, something uh-huh. like that. So they keep poking it, poking it, poking it, to the nap, to the shit get real thin and and, and neat. You get what I'm saying? It, it neat it out, take all the the fuzzies out and shit like that. Oh shit. And they shit. stuff it, stuff it inside. It's basically stuffing inside the, the, the fro. Okay, so did they like clean a, it first? It's like a fro right now. Okay. You get what I'm saying? It's a nappy fro, but it just, it napped up in one. You know what I mean? But do they clean it first? I'm, I'm yeah. assuming they have to, right? Yeah, like, yeah, they got to wash that bitch and all that type of shit. Damn, your shit probably long as shit, because I'm going to imagine like it's probably mad dead I hair. cut it, my shit, shit though. My shit, like I told you, my shit was this long, but I just cut it. Damn. Over the years, I, I was tired of it. It was, it was too long. That shit hard, yo. You think eight seven? You think I'll be cool with the wicks? You know what I'm saying? No, I don't fuck with that shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga be talking about growing that hair. I'll probably be cool with the wicks. What is it called again? Wicks. 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 Nah. Yeah. I'm fu- I'm fu- yo, don't be listen. Don't be surprised. You see me popping up with the wicks. <laughs> yo, you see niggas get the fake wicks now. You know how niggas oh, get the man, fake braids, bro. bro I, I can't fuck with the fake wicks. You see niggas do it though. I I heard niggas do it, but I won't do it. I I probably would never. You gotta know. stay authentic, man. No matter what you do, you gotta. Could you stay tell? Out- Could you tell though? 
Nah, you ain't gonna be able to tell. Like I know motherfuckers who got it probably can't even tell. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm getting the fake wigs. I'm getting the wig. Don't do Next it. Next show, I'm Don't popping do it. up with the. You know <laughs> no, how Gillian no. Wallow had the Don't afros? Do it, bro. I'm coming no, with the wig. No. I'm from Miami, you Dead County. Do it, bro. You cannot, bro. They gonna laugh. You gonna go to Miami? They gonna know you ain't from there. Facts. Like, I don't sound shit. <laughs> you gotta like Miami. get the natural wigs. If you gonna do it, do it with your real shit. Man, that shit probably like, take like ten years to get that. <laughs> Fuck that, man. But no, man, what's good, man? You uh, you got you, you prom- promote some music and shit. Yeah, I got the Beehive coming out January 29th. That's you gotta have some balls to, to, to say the Beehive. Oh man, right. I know, I know, I'm gonna have a lot of motherfuckers at my head when I drop that motherfucker. What makes you even say give you the audacity to be like Beehive? Come on, you know better. Okay, so so see the difference is between the beat my Beehive, my Beehive is a whole different meaning from what they think it is. You know what I mean? What you think? What you think? Uh. The beehive stand for, for what you, for like, you or what the first thing I think of? Yeah, I mean of course Beyonce. Of course, but the thing is Beyonce didn't start it naming her shit. The fans named that shit. Beehive. Okay, I'm gonna say you better be careful. You know what I mean? <laughs> about I know them beehives <laughs> gonna try to attack me, but <laughs> you be this careful. the real beehive right here. Oh you know wow! What I mean? like, oh, you tripping? This the real beehive. Well, you know what I mean? Thoughts and views of this. But part. look, my meaning of the beehive is totally different from what. You know what I'm saying? What her fans is claiming what she is. You know What's what yours? Salute to Beyonce. I don't take nothing from that, but like, my meaning the beehive. You know, the beehive sit high. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, anywhere you go, if you go somewhere, you see a beehive, you know where it sit at. It sit high. Fact. So, my meaning of the beehive is reaching success. Mm. You know what I mean? Reaching a higher level That's of hard. life. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? And like us, we like money, right? Mm-hmm. The bees like mo- honey, right? No, nah, facts. So, my meaning of just reaching high, higher level of success, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get there. Ain't nothing gonna stop me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, My energy is so high right now, bro. Like, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But look, salute to Beyonce. But my meaning of the Beehive is something totally different from what they thinking. No, that's hard. You know how I mean? how yeah. long you think it took you to, to think of that? What? What I just said? Yeah, the Beehive. Pfft, a whole year. I've been wanting to name my album the Beehive. Damn. But I knew it was gonna be a lot of criticized. Like, why is he naming this shit Beehive? Mm. But it's just different, you know what I mean? Like it just, you know, in my energy is crazy. Like my music is the energy that I bring with my music is crazy, and it's like the YBZ, you know what I'm saying? The Prince of Rap, that's me. So it's like, why not the Beehive? Nah, that makes sense. I you like know what that. I mean? Like it's just crazy. Like so, I'm stinging shit for real. <laughs> I like that. So YBZ, the Prince of Rap, right? Yeah. Coming from Miami, uh, I heard about Miami Gardens. I heard that's like the hood, the trenches for real. Yeah, it is. It is. It became crazy over the years. They started calling it Murder Gardens. Damn. Yeah, they call it Murder Gardens now. So coming out of there, how, what made you say, yo, I'm a, like, I know we said Prince, but like, did you, were you kind of scared to go with the Prince of Rap because of like the perception of where you from or you just, you never gave a fuck? What, talking about the, being the Prince of Rap? Yeah, like just being a lover boy, you know what I'm saying? Like being the ladies man and shit like that. But when you think of Miami Gardens, you think of like hardcore, crazy niggas killing. Did you was like, did you ever think about getting, um, I don't know the criticism that might come behind that. I guess coming from the hood. Like nah, that. I mean I had my own lane. Like I had people wanted to be around me. Mm. You know, I had I had thug niggas want to be around me because they said I had all the hoes. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be a gangster all you want to, but guess what? You gonna come around me because I got the hoes. Nah, facts. Oh, that boy yellow. See, they used to call me Yellow Boy back then in high school and shit. Okay. And I switched it over to YBZ over the years, but I was going by Yellow. Fuck them. They used mm. to call me Yellow. Fuck them because I was. The type of person I was, I would get around some hoes and we, we fucking. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when they see me, man, bro, I, man, back in back then, MySpace days, I had girls doing all type of crazy shit. To my, you know, back then, you know, we used to do the fan signs and shit. Yeah. They used to post the fan signs of me, yellow fuck them. They used to tap. They used to put a marker. They used to write their names on their ass with the markers, yellow fuck them. I support yellow fuck them. I support yellow boy. Mm. So I was that type of person. So like when you see me, you know down that that yellow nigga got them hoes. You know what I'm saying? Even the gangsters, they knew. I can believe. You know that. what I mean? Like the gangsters, they man, I'm finna, I'm finna fuck with my nigga yellow. Bro. We finna hang out. I can believe that, that. boy bring them hoes out. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines. Man, he's probably one of the few people I know who actually built. Multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, 
This is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. So tell me what's um just coming from Miami, right? We all love our city. What's probably like the most interesting part about Miami, especially where you come from, specifically where you come from? The beach. You know what I mean? That's the most interesting part, but like that's not Miami though. You know what I mean? Like it's Miami, but like me being from Miami, from a, a tourist coming there, mm. yeah, they're going to say South Beach is Miami, but like you got to go to cross the bridge. You got to go to Overtown. You got to go to motherfucking Liberty City. You got to go through the trenches to get to Miami. You got to go to Atapata, you know what I'm saying, like Haiti, you know what I'm saying. You got to cut through uh, Miami Guards to get through Broward, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Pompano, Fort Lauderdale, like that's Miami, you know what I'm saying. But Broward, that, that ain't Miami, but it's it's borderline, you know what I mean. And that's where um, uh, Kodak Black from? Kodak from Pompano. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, is that Miami or? No, nah, it ain't Miami, it's Pompano. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So what's I guess what's so special though about your neck? Like what's when you say you gotta go there? What's what's so special about it? What go to Miami? Yeah, like just your your neck. It was like Miami Gardens specifically. I mean, it's the trenches. It's 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 it's, it's like you know, it's the neck of the woods. It's, it's like you know, you go to Miami, you you want to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? You go to the beach. You know, you go to that's if you want to go have a good time and be away from the fuck shit. Mm. It's the beach area. But when you go off the bridge. Then you got Miami Gardens, and then you got all the negative woods, and you mm. know the suburbs and shit like that. But like Miami is like you go to you go, you go to Miami, you know what I'm saying? Like you go to Miami Gardens, you go to the strip clubs, you know what I mean? We got the strip clubs, Tootsie's, we got the office G5. Like that's the special part about Miami Gardens area and shit like that. Okay. Like you got that, you know what I mean? I heard that shit. They Tootsie's, said. They, Tootsie's a vibe. When you go to Tootsie's, it, it's a vibe. Like it's different. You know what I mean? It got, it got a lot of Lat, Lat, Latinos and shit, Lat, Latins and shit like that, Latin women and shit. You know, oh, bad, nice. nice ones, you know what I'm saying? They say, um, <laughs> Charlamagne always see this shit like, I guess everybody in Florida like crazy, basically like, <laughs> like, is, yeah, it is. have you noticed yeah, that yeah, yourself? Yeah, bro? yeah, yeah. I, I think everybody from Miami that be, that be that's from there, like they got a crazy side of them or they got a crazy ass family member that been through some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, Then y'all got like heavy Haitians, right? Uh yeah yeah it's it it's a mix of a lot though bro we got Jamaicans we got Haitians we got Latinos we got it's like a melting pot man we got a lot I ain't I don't be seeing too many Indians like that though not really though but we got a mix of a lot of shit damn yeah. man that's crazy so how was this music like treating you man like I know you said you up you on a high right now like what's going on right now we about to drop the tape what else is going on with you. <clears throat> man, um, I'm in a movie called Frankie. Mm -hmm. Um, shout out to Shannon. He was the director for it. That's the shit on Tubi. Yeah, that's on. It's out right now. Oh, you're Frankie. a movie star, man, bro. It's my first time, bro, and I did good. I had so many people hit me up, like, man, you did great, bro. Like mm -hmm. for your first time, but like, it was crazy, like trying to remember the lines in the beginning. But I'm like, when I first got the page, the page was this thick. I'm like. Damn, how the fuck I'm finna remember all this shit? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, being my first time, it's like trying to study something and remember that shit all. Like, I was like, I don't think I could do it. But I was doubting myself. Mm. But I think God had another plan for me. He was like, bro, this is what you want. This is what you're going to have. This is what I'm giving you. This is the opportunity for you Facts. to take it to another level. And I, I, he gave me that role, and then I, I took advantage of that. That's hard. Yeah. And I, I, I studied that shit every night. I'm talking about I woke up. Studying it, studying it, studying it. I was like, I gotta get this role. I need this role. Mm. This is an opportunity for me, and I, I had to kick in the dough. That's hard. You um, you think you see yourself like doing more acting? Oh yeah, I like it now. Though it's different because like the character they gave me, it was myself. I ain't had to be nobody else, so it was good. You know what I mean? Mm. But I got another um movie that I'm in. It was a TV show series. It's a series called Be Someone series with um Tisha Campbell, mm. Drea. Some um, heavy hitters right here. I think it was named Kalia Kane. I think, yeah, who played in Juice. Yeah, it's some yeah. heavy hitters. Some um, heavy hitters. Yeah, we got a we got a lot of people that's in that one that's coming out too. But they still like getting it done and stuff like that. But I got a role in that. 
and it's uh, I'm supposed to be playing a guy named Marlon. Mm. Yeah, Marlon. But see, Frankie, I'm playing. Um, what I'm playing? Um, damn, what the, I forgot the name I'm playing. What what the name my um my character it was uh, God damn, I forgot my damn character name. I mean, we'll figure it out when we see it. What's the name I of the f- movie? Frankie. 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 Okay. Frankie. Okay. The name is Frankie. So when, once it come out, whenever it come out, we gonna. It's see already it. out. That's the one on Tubi. That's the one on Tubi. And you don't know your, your name? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm thinking it's the new one. <laughs> I forgot my goddamn name, but I, I know I motherfucking ace that motherfucker. I'm though. thinking it's the Okay, so Frank, the Frankie Frankie is the one on Tubi. So if you uh on Tubi, you know you go on Tubi. Go on Tubi. Dot, sure. Tubi.com. You ain't even got to subscribe. You could go straight to the link on my page. Frankie, you'll see me right there. I did um, my thing, yeah. Fuck with uh, Beehive. Yeah, the Beehive. The Beehive. The Beehive dropping January 29th. Yeah, we're going crazy with that one. January 29th, we got yeah. the Beehive. Uh, we got Frankie I got the single TV. called 1K a Day that's out right now. Yeah, the single called 1K a Day. 1K a Day. What we talking, like, you, you making $1,000 a day. That's a lot of money. Man. Yeah. That's some real life shit? Real life. I wouldn't be talking about it if it wasn't real life. I mean, you can give me something, then you can help me out. <laughs> I ain't making a thousand dollars a day. Guys. It's <laughs> on like, my chain, you know. It's tatted, you know. PG, one kid a day. Oh, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? I came, I came a long way though, bro. Like from you know, just being from Miami and no, making right. one kid a day. Talk, bro, yeah. We, no, I, I could talk that shit now, but you know, back then I don't think I could talk that shit. Like, I think I was just, you know, back then I was on some like. I was trying to visualize it, like trying to make it happen, you know, um, just like just trying to paint the character that I wanted to be. But then I was just trying to figure it out. But like, see, everybody had dark places in life and I was going through some dark shit, bro. Like, Mm. and, you know, it was a pause for a minute for me. Like, it was a long pause. I'm like, why the fuck is I'm why is it taking so long for me to actually come back out like this? Mm. And we all have pauses in life, bro. Like, well, we got to figure shit out and we got to be focused on some shit that we want to go. Facts. And I had a long pause, bro. And I was like, why is it taking so long for me to come back out? Why is it taking me so long to make music again? And it just was like, my mental, uh, mentally I wasn't there with music, you know what I mean? And um, I had to take a pause for a minute. I think I took a, like a, Two year pause, bro. But I was still working on music, but I wasn't releasing it. What did the pause teach you? You think life experience and um, staying focused, mm. and um, you know, just just staying staying focused and staying in the limelight, bro. And get your your mental together before anything. Staying staying focused is the most important thing, bro. Would you say you um you burnt out? I guess that's that was the reason for the pause. What was the reason for the pause? You think? The reason for the pause, I think, a lot of losses. I took <clears throat> took a lot of losses, and I didn't. I couldn't figure how to maintain the loss I took. It was hard to take a loss and then trying to bounce back from the loss. Mm. And then it was just to a point where like, I didn't know how to drop music. It was like, um, being a, a independent artist, bro. See, I can speak on independent because I'm an independent artist, mm-hmm. and I'm still coming up. You know what <clears throat> I'm saying? And like. I wasn't this person at one point in time. So, like, what I'm talking about, a lot of motherfuckers can probably relate. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we all have pauses in life and we be trying to, we be stuck. Mm. We don't know where we want to go next. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I took a big ass pause and I was like, shit was a life experience. It was like, bro, losing my cousin, Booby, that died. Mm. Um, Rest in peace. Yeah, man. I took a pause from that. I lost a child. Damn. Yeah. Um, it was a miscarriage, you know what I'm saying? But it, it still nah, was still lost. hard, yeah. yeah it was yeah. still Especially hard. Especially when you're preparing for it. Yeah, it was it was that. Uh, it was just trials and tribulations, bro. And, I, and as I got older, I didn't realize it, bro. I'm like, my daddy told me this. He was like, bro, you're going to go through shit in life, and you're going to see it. And when you see it, you're going to wake up. Mm. And I woke up now. You got to get yeah, You got to go through I it. I had to go through it to see it now. But, like, I didn't, like, as a kid, you know, you growing up, you like, Oh, mama taking care of me and daddy taking care of me. Mama buy you shoes. Daddy buy you shoes. You know what I'm saying? Taking you to school. But then as you get older, you, you got to be mature now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you got you out there in the real world now. This is the real world, bro. You got bills. You got shit to take care of in life, bro. That's a fact. 
And look at us now, though. Look at you now. Yeah. We say God did. God did. Nah, One K a day, man. For real. Nah, for real. I appreciate it, man. One K a day is a lot, though, man. What's that? You know, $1,000 a day for every single day in a year is what? $365,000? Mm-hmm. All right, big baller. Let's, hey, ladies, holla at him. He, 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 he like y'all. Let's holla at him. Listen, we ain't finna, we ain't, we ain't finna holla at me and take all my money, baby. Facts. Now, I appreciate you, dog. Um, it was um a pleasure to have you. Yeah. Uh, anything facts. we can support, just let us know. Um, yeah. Let the people know where to follow you and how to support everything that you got going on. Listen, you can follow me on Instagram, YBZ, Y-B-E-Z-Z-Y underscore the Prince of Rap. You know what I'm saying? The Beehive is on the way January 29th. Frankie is out right now. Go make sure you check it out on Tubi. I still forgot my guy. He don't know his character name. God he don't damn. know his character name, but just fuck with it anyway. But damn show, I killed that motherfucker for real, for real. Damn show took off on that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. I appreciate it, dog. Yeah. Uh, YBZ, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out.